All right, hello seniors and families of seniors. Uh, I know it seems like we've been radio silent for a little bit, but that does not equate to us not being thoughtful about what you're dealing with right now and um, planning for events to come. We've been radio silent because we're working hard behind the scenes to make everything special for you. I am going to present uh, from my computer here um, a slideshow that we have for you. And this slideshow is also going to be emailed to you. And within the slideshow, we have links embedded for documents that you may need. So first and foremost, um, as you know, graduation um, and the typical senior events will be looking different this year. Um, that is, uh, as you know, uh, due to the uh, pandemic as well as um, the executive orders coming from the governor's office and the Oregon Department of Education. And so we're doing our best to make everything special and also continue to abide by those um, mandates. I know that there have been questions about um, why isn't McMinnville High School postponing um, a graduation as other high schools around the state are until August or some other time. A lot of families are really hoping that they could have had an in-person graduation. And I, I wanna speak to that here because I think there's some misinformation out there. Uh, first and foremost, um, we, we too would love to have an in-person graduation, but we have no assurances that uh, late summer things will be cleared up enough to gather 5,000 plus people um, within the same uh, stadium to be able to host our traditional graduation event. And the last thing we wanna do is postpone something that ends up being canceled uh, because the social distancing orders haven't yet been lifted. So what we're doing right now is trying to ensure that we have a special celebration for families. And while it may um, look different, we do want to honor students um, on the night that graduation would typically be with a graduation ceremony, knowing that number one, we're not sure what August will look like. Uh, number two, we've heard from a lot of families that this June 5th date is really important because um, seniors are moving on to their post-secondary endeavors. And in order to really capture our whole senior class um, in some sort of event, we need to do it on the night that they had reserved on their calendars. And we really owe it to all of our students and their families to make sure that we think of each and every senior during this time. So right now, when we're talking about the events that we have for seniors, we're talking about events so far. Uh, we as an admin uh, team and those uh, staff who are dedicated to making this special for our seniors want uh, as much as anyone else uh, to have the traditional events that we always anticipate and look forward to. But keep in mind, those are things that right now are on the back burner to see what can we do possibly later uh, right now, the question that's been on our minds is what can we do now to honor our seniors? So um, I hope that puts um, your minds at ease in terms of why things might be different at McMinnville High School than some high schools around the state of Oregon. If you think of it as, um, you know, that we are doing this in addition to whatever else might be on the back burner for our seniors, but we really feel it's important to celebrate our seniors now. So with that, we've got a team here of some of our uh, staff that are tasked with carrying out these events uh, for seniors. And as I mentioned, we're gonna send this presentation um, along with the links uh, for you. So if, should you need to see any of the documents we showed today, uh, you can click on those links. Hey, class of 2020, Mr. Hinthorn here. It's been really awesome seeing seniors come through the food court the past three days. We have the, the senior graduation stage set up in the food court and the iconic picture, receiving your diploma and being on stage, it's there for you. We have three more days planned, May 11th, May 13th, and May 14th. We did initially have some slots on May 18th, but it will take us quite a bit of work to compile all the pictures with the names and match it up. So we need additional time to produce those videos. So uh, I know th uh, thanks go out to all of you who've been flexible in rescheduling. Uh, if you haven't already scheduled a time to come into the food court to get your picture taken, please email Sherry Tolliver 
she has the spreadsheet and can make sure that you're signed up and can share with you other students which slots they're in as well if that matters to you all. We do also have a few uh, caps and gowns in store. If by chance you missed out on purchasing one or you don't have one, we still want you to sign up and uh, for a picture slot so we can help get you a part of our graduation ceremony video and uh, all the memorabilia that your family might want. Um, our photographer is uh, from Northwest Sports Photography and they will have information available um, and we'll, we'll provide you with that in May 29th, I believe. And then uh, picture on June 8th will be a part of your senior package. Anyway, specifically for your picture day and time, remember to arrive 10 minutes early. We are staging uh, all the cars uh, in specific locations so that way we can keep the order uh, in, in exact. Um, come dressed in your cap and gown. Yes, please decorate your mortar board or your cap. Um, put a fun message on there or something exciting about your future. Uh, there are um, formal pictures, uh, get a couple of formal pictures on stage as well as a couple of informal. Uh, so have fun and take advantage of the opportunity. There is a senior flag for you to sign as well as a cardboard uh, picture of Dr. Fast for you to take a fun picture with in your graduation regalia. Um, cords are being distributed for uh, college credit now and, and those things. So it's exciting and we're glad to be able to make this happen. Finally, when you come for grad pictures, please bring information for the grad parade. We need to have vehicle and driver information because we are using a combination of private parking lots and public roads and working with our local law enforcement as well as our own district insurance agent, we need to make sure that we have all vehicles participating being driven by a licensed driver and the, that the car is insured. So more information to come on the grad parade when you pick up items on the 29th. Um, so I'll sign off for now. Speaking of the 29th here, hi everybody, Miss Sales. It's nice to see you. And it was so good to see so many of you at the cap and gown pickup as well. Makes me really happy to be able to share that stuff with you. So the next date that we want on your radar is May 29th, which is Friday, looking at 1 to 4 p.m. And what this day is, is senior celebration. We've got some gifts to give you from the grad night committee, as well as from the high school. Um, you're also gonna get your senior yard sign. I know that many of you have been hearing about that. We will be able to distribute those to you on that day. Also on that day, any remaining regalia, maybe there's a pathway cord or a club specific cord, or maybe just something kind of got mixed up in, in the hubbub of all the couple days that we've had. That's gonna be the day that you pick up those items. Additionally, the really big one is that you're going to be picking up your parade and graduation instructions. So we're going to get to that in a little bit, but talking about the etiquette piece of where you're actually going to be parked, even an extra cap so you can make sure you can throw your cap and not have to get out of your car to go get it. We've thought of all these things. We want to make sure that you get those on the 29th. Additionally, there's going to be some staff members there that want to give you a proper send off and say goodbye to you. So make sure that you're coming on through. You can click on this slide here to see the map. It's the same route that we had you go in for the cap and gown pickup. Um, so it should be pretty well rehearsed at this point. You guys were doing a good job with that. If you have questions about that specific day, contact me. If you've got specific questions about cords or regalia or making sure that it's going to be there on the 29th, take a look at the bottom of the slide, either contacting your advisor or teacher directly or talking with Mrs. Roberts about that as well. Hey seniors, uh, Mrs. Van Buren here. I uh, just wanted to talk to you real quick about the post-secondary survey. The survey was posted yesterday into the Google Classroom called Class of 2020 and Virtual Advisory. Um, our goal is to get this survey done before the 8th. We will also embed the link to the survey in this slideshow so you can access it right from here. And then at Diploma Pickup, if you still have not um, completed your survey, we'll encourage you to do so potentially on your own personal device. We will not withhold your diploma, but we are really trying to get information from you guys on what your post-secondary plans are. And then scholarship night, um, a committee has been working on 
getting together a video from the various um, entities around town and within the school that give out scholarships. So just like in previous years, there will be a scholarship night. It will just look a little bit different and we'll put together a video montage that announces all the winners of the scholarship. If you are receiving a scholarship, you will get notification before that June 2nd date to uh, tune into that video so that you can see which scholarship you've earned. All right, so the same is true for our seniors on honors assembly. While scholarship night is on the 2nd, uh, the senior honors assembly will be on June 3rd at 7 p.m. Share the same way via email and social media uh, right at that time so that you, you and your classmates can tune in uh, to find out who is the recipients of which departmental um, athletic and um, other awards. Um, this is really a, a has been um, historically a pretty neat event for our seniors and we want to make sure that we're hosting these events on the week of graduation to, in order to build up um, to that final event. Uh, finally, what when we keep saying graduation, what are we talking about? So as you know, we have um, our students, our seniors coming in right now in their caps and gowns to get their uh, picture taken. We will have um, readers, uh, staff readers that are reading their names as well as myself and uh, chosen valedictorians coming in on the 15th to pre-record um, speeches as well as the reading of student names. Um, all of which will create um, a virtual uh, pre-recorded ceremony that we will push out on the night of the 5th during graduation. Um, Mr. Vignair is gonna talk in a second here about um, what will follow that, but essentially you will be in cars in certain locations in town, um, tuned into either KLYC, Facebook Live, um, or other platform to listen to or watch um, the graduation ceremony. And then from that point, we will uh, exit those locations with school board members cheering you on. Um, and then over that radio station or over that social media platform, you will be able to see slash hear students' names being read as the students, quote unquote, cross the stage uh, with the pictures they've already taken. And we are hoping that you will be honking your horns as you hear um, your name, and as Miss Sales mentioned at the very end of the actual ceremony, when we are in the parking lots, um, the traditional "let them fly" will happen, and caps will be thrown into the air, and you will not be the ones collecting them. Uh, but we want to have as much tradition as possible embedded into this event. So, with that, I'm going to let Tony Vicnair talk a little bit more about the actual logistics of that event. Hey, everybody. I'm back just for a little bit. Someone needs some help with the parade. That's what I'm good at. So um, parade logistics are going to look like this. Um, we've got four sites that you're going to be gathering at um, no earlier than 6.30 p.m. And those sites are, are, are uh, set up so that your current elementary school boundary is where you're going to be at. You'll get all that information on the 29th, so you don't have to figure that out. Um, when you get there, we'll be parking you in a, in a way that that'll be easy for you to um, leave the parking lot and begin the parade when the time comes. Um, remember, you'll have one car per family. And so we're hoping our graduate will sit in the passenger side and then your um, and then the other members of your family will be in the car. Um, when you when you get this sent out to you, you will see you will have an opportunity to push on the Buell um, um button and when you push the Buell button you'll get to see not only the map of the route that we're going to be taking but also the turn left here turn right here turn left here um, as well so um, hopefully that'll help you but you're also going to get on the 29th that whole packet of all the all the maps all the directions where the where people are going to go and when they're going to start and finish so the big piece is that um, we're doing the best we can to try to make this an exciting event um, there's a, each of these routes have a lot of neighborhoods in them. And so we will not be able to hit all the neighborhoods, but we're gonna do the best we can to, to make it centralized. And uh, hopefully there'll be lots of people out there cheering you on, including some of your family members. Um, again, you're gonna, you're gonna wear your cap and gown. You're gonna, um, at seven o'clock after the speeches get started, everything goes uh, about 7.30 is when we're gonna start 
we'll have a police pilot car that'll lead us out of each of the parking lots following the directions of the, uh, of the parade. And, um, the parade's probably going to be, uh, our biggest parade is about a hundred cars and our smallest parade is about 50 cars. So, um, we're hoping that, uh, we made a nice route through all the, the, the neighborhoods in, in your current, uh, elementary school boundary. So I'm hopeful that'll be a lot of fun. Um, Again, there's going to be some parade etiquette that's going to be important when we're when we're um, um, doing this. But right now, um, and you'll get that information when when uh, it's time. Um, the uh, during during this parade, you'll be uh, like Dr. Fast said, you'll be listening to your names being read, and uh, I'm hoping it'll be a pretty exciting event for you. So again, um, we have still got a few little logistics to to clear up for before these these links will be live. So you want to keep tuning in as they as uh, as uh, the week goes along because that's when those will be live when they've been completely approved i think i covered everything dr fast uh diploma pickup slide is this you i can take it oh oh yeah I, <laughs> sorry sorry <laughs> um so in the past, when, when uh, seniors graduated, they received their diploma right as they went down the stage. And so um, the, that will not be the case in, in here. Um, they, you will come back on the 8th, which is Monday. We'll get the time, we'll get the exact time uh, and location when that will happen. But it'll probably be very similar to what we've been doing with pictures and locker clean out and Chromebook check in and check out. So, um, same exact things we've been doing, which is if you can put your name on there, we will provide you your diploma and all the other things that have been gathering up. Uh, Senior Honors Assembly, Scholarship Night, other things that you may not have picked up. We'll have all of that for you that you may not have also gotten on the 29th because it didn't come in yet. So uh, that'll be a big day, big celebration day and to get all your stuff taken care of. Now, remember, um, that diploma will be in there if all your fees are paid. So you want to start um, making sure that uh, that's all taken care of by, for the, by June 8th, okay? All right, one last uh, slide for you, Mr. Vickner. Oh, Sorry. Thank you. Well, yes. Um, so, um, yearbooks. Sorry, I'm going to roll this. Um, we have, uh, the yearbooks aren't going to be here till late June. So, it makes sense to try to plan something for the fall that um that you can come back and have a signing party and i know that not just seniors want to sign people, seniors to your books so maybe we can work out something that we can have more people than just the seniors there we wanted to make that also a, a celebration and uh my hope is that we'll have um the opportunity to do that in late august um you've got we've got a lot of textbooks and chromebooks out there so that's going to start being coming back uh the end of may and you've got one. You've got five dates there that you can return your um, Chromebooks and textbooks. And at the same time, we've got some lockers currently that have been cleaned out and other pieces that you might be needing. We've been sending out uh, uh, Parent Square Act, uh, notifications, but we added another day this May 14th from 12 to 2 to pick up anything from your lockers or classrooms items. In addition, there's some uh, ceramics that's going to be ready on that day. And if you can't make that day, you can still pick up any of those items when you're turning in your Chromebooks and textbooks and things like that. And finally, if you still have your picture to take from Mr. Hint during Mr. Hinthorn's uh, um, picture extravaganza, you can uh, you can stop by and pick up your locker and classroom stuff around the corner before you get in your car. So lots to do, lots to do. All right. Thank you, Tony. I won't snipe you with any more slides. So um, Mrs. Brandt should have uh, sent you any final uh, billing that needs to be wrapped up um, in order to get that diploma on the 8th uh, that Mr. Vickner was talking about. Uh, if you were planning to take the AP test and paid for it and it didn't end up deciding to take it, please give her a call or email her at this email address um, shown and she will make sure to take that um, off your fees. Um, if you have, um, if your bill is reflective of some nutrition services or, or meals that were purchased or sorry, that were used and have not yet been purchased, um, that those inquiries actually go to Debbie Vickers and her um, email address is there as well as phone number. So anything that needs to be wrapped up in terms of billing by that June 8th date, uh, please know that those bills should be in the mail. And then finally, our hope 
uh, for you seniors and families is that this, uh, albeit different, is um, special and sometimes that difference makes it even more memorable. So uh, we have been working with uh, student representatives as well as parents to try to um, make sure that we are meeting your, your wishes as well as your needs throughout this um, process. And as I mentioned, uh, today's discussions and presentation has all been, has all been about uh, what we can do uh, on June 5th and leading up to that June 5th date uh, to make sure that this year's graduation is not anticlimactic and isn't it just a waiting game uh, to see when things change in society, but is something that we can actually take control of now and make special for you. So with that, we hope that you have a great week. Please do reach out to us with any questions um, and we'd be happy to answer them and we will be in touch. Go Grizzlies. Go Grizzlies.